You know, although I'm very good at transforming butts, something I know a lot of people want to do is they're trying to lose body fat, you know? Babe. What's up, Peach Squad? You know something? Something I say a lot is, what's up, guys? You know, and I, I was trying to like think of something better to call you guys. See, there it is, you guys. And I decided to come up with Peach, Peach Squad. What up, Peach Squad? Anyway, that's beside the point. Today's video is, okay, so I know a lot of people come to my, to my channel to, to look up booty workouts, you know, for inspiration, you know? But something I'm very, very good at, other than growing the peach, the wrong peach, is um, helping people burn body fat. And the mis one of the biggest mistakes a lot of women make is they think that working out their legs and booty alone is gonna help them burn body fat. You know, lose the stomach, turn up the arms, but it's not. You also have to include upper body workouts. That's why you see a lot of girls that have amazing bodies work out their upper body because it's a very important thing to do because you cannot lose body fat in one area. I mean, you can't work out one area and just think that you're only gonna um, burn body fat in that area, you know? It's called spot reducing. You can't spot reduce. You have to work out every muscle in your body in order to lose body fat. So today's video is gonna be a very good upper body routine. You could do at home. You could do it at the gym too. I'm gonna do it at home. I, at the gym, all you're gonna need is dumbbells. So it's something you could do at home or at the gym. So I'm trying to like, trying to like do something that people that work out at home, people that work out at the gym, both can do, you know, to be fair. Cause I know I post a lot of gym stuff, but today's workout is gonna be done here at home. It's gonna attack the back and the shoulders. Just so that you guys know they're in the upper body, there's the tricep, which is the back part of the arm. And there's a bicep, which is like the front part of the arm. And there's a shoulder, there's a chest area, the abs, and then you got the whole back. So there's a lot of muscle groups in the upper body. You know, and you guess who I have here? Who I'm gonna train? His wife! My little wife. My little, 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 little wife. My little wife. You know, there's nothing better than having someone who supports you in everything you do. And this is her right here. My beautiful wife. Yeah. Okay. Um, you need to do a warm up though. Jumping jacks. Okay. So, before we start a workout, it's important that you warm up, right? Upper body. Usually, lower body. I have them do body weight exercises like lunges, squats. For upper body, I like people. I like my clients doing like some type of like stationary cardio, like light cardio, to warm up to get blood flowing through their muscles. And I'm gonna show you guys three different stationary cardio movements you can do for a minute each, you know, three three minutes is a good warm up. And one of them is jumping jacks. All right. Twerking, does that count? No, mm. unless it's lower body. It is lower, oh. Okay, so jumping jacks, all you do is this. Babe, let's be serious real quick. Mm. Exercise number two, high knees, like this, look. Yeah, perfect, just like that. And then you got butt kicks. You just gotta make sure you kick your butt, Three minutes. Look, if you're out of shape, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel like a workout. Try to do 30 seconds maybe, but build your way up to do a minute to make it a warm up. The dumbbells we're gonna use are these adjustable ones. If you guys watched my last home workout routine, I talked about these adjustable weights. They're really, it's like a better deal than buying like each one individually. Like this one goes up to like 2.5, five pounds, seven and a half, 10 pounds and then like 12 and a half pounds, it depends. Like you just adjust the weights, they're adjustable. You know, it's a very good deal. This, these are the ones we're gonna use. So today's routine, just to prepare you guys, is gonna be five upper body workouts and three core and ab workouts. Okay, so first workout, it's gonna be a burpee with a shoulder press. So this one's really good for burning fat and building up the shoulders, the, the arms right here, okay? Okay, so for first workout right here, we're gonna target the up the shoulders, which is that area right here. And 
with that burpee, trust me, you're gonna be feeling your heart rate going up like crazy. Around the fifth, sixth rep, you're gonna be feeling tired, but you have to push it. We're gonna do 15 reps, guys, 15 reps. Look how she does it. Look what she puts her hands, she jumps back, jumps back up, bends her knees, stands up, shoulder press. There you go, keep going, keep going, come on. Okay, during this set, guys, you're gonna feel tired, you're gonna feel out of breath, just like Africa, you're probably gonna have to take a break. And it's normal, you know, don't get discouraged. But it's all about getting stronger throughout time. You know, it's hard to do 15 straight. But eventually, you, that's what you're gonna have to aim for. Let's go, Africa, come on. So from experience, training um, people, the most effective way to work out at home is to take 30 to 45 second breaks between sets. You know, that's a good way to keep your heart rate up, which is gonna place your body in fat burning mode. It's just like the best way to do it. So the next exercise is gonna be a single arm dumbbell row. It's gonna work out the back. So look how simple it is. You're just gonna place your hand on something. You're gonna slightly bend both knees. Your back is gonna be flat and you're gonna bring the arm straight down, all the way straight, okay? Then you're gonna go up, elbow goes towards your belly button. You're gonna feel the back working right here. There you go. Come on, 12 to 15. Come on, you got two more, two more. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Woo! All right, now we're gonna do the other side. So one more thing. When you're doing a workout that requires only one arm, just like the one we just did, you don't wanna take a break between sets because one side is resting while the other side is working. So once you're done with one side, you go straight to the other and just keep going back and forth like that. It's totally different. Damn, look at Africa flex back there. It's totally different than doing um, workouts that require both, um, both arms because those, that, that one you do need to take a break like 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, so this one is really hard. I'm giving her light weight. This is honestly like two and a half pounds on each arm. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna slightly bend both knees. Look how far, far apart her feet are. That's important. Make sure you guys are taking notes on the form. Her back is straight. When she goes up, her body is forming a T with her, with her arms. Look at that. It's like a T. Perfect. This one you wanna do 16 to 20. Now keep going. A little bit more, come on. Go out, there you go. All right, Peace Squad, I know you guys are probably tired right now. We're only three workouts in and we're about to get into the fourth exercise, which is the hardest one from this whole routine. And something I want you guys to do is make sure you guys do three work, three three sets before you move on to the next. You know, don't try to just do one and then move on to the other one. So try to do three sets before you move on. Okay, this next exercise. Okay, so you're gonna start with a pair of dumbbells on your hands, okay? You're gonna pick them up like this. Make sure when you do upper body workouts, you have your knees slightly bent. Don't ever have your legs completely straight because it's gonna be bad for your lower back. So have the dumbbells like this. Look straight and then pick them up like this. Go down, place the dumbbells down, and then you're gonna do a burpee, and then you're gonna do the hard part of the exercise is doing this. You're gonna pick one dumbbell up with one arm, and you're gonna go up. When you're doing that, not only are you working on your back, but you're working on your entire core. So it's gonna be very hard, especially since you're on one hand. If you can't do this, it's okay to go on your knees and do it like this. It's totally cool, but something I want you to do is challenge yourself to do more. You know, it's okay to start like that at first, but eventually challenge your body, challenge yourself to do more because once you're able to do something like that, you're gonna get so much stronger, you're gonna get a confidence you've never had before. And you're gonna start thinking like, holy, sh holy crap, I'm, I just did something right there. I'm selling myself too short. What else can I do? I'm capable of so much more. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna give you this mental confidence that you've never had before. Shoulder press, burpee, there you go. There you go. Woo! Okay, notice how when she goes back, her feet are apart, apart like that. That's how you wanna do it. Don't keep your feet close. You wanna have them far apart like that. You guys just saw right there, hardest exercise of the routine. But if you guys pass that test, guess what? We got the last 
and final exercise shoulder flies so this one all you're gonna do is this all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your arms completely straight you're gonna go to the side and then to the front okay front see she makes mistakes too guys she makes mistakes so arms completely straight guys okay and then forward side and you want to aim for 16 reps one thing you're gonna do is you're gonna struggle around 10 reps you know you gotta push yourself take a little a little pause and then keep going all the way to 16. all right peach squad all right so now it's time to finish it with abs so these are gonna be simple core and ab exercises um it's still, it's still my challenge you but, but these are like beginner exercises so the first one you're gonna do is gonna target the side of the stomach you know the obliques so what you're gonna do is you're simply gonna lay down right your feet you don't want them too close you don't want them too far the reason being is that you're just gonna slide and touch your heel if your feet are too close to you like you're already tapping them so you want to make them, you want to make it a challenge so you want to make sure you place your feet a little further in front and all you're going to do is slide and touch your, your heel just like that maybe a little further. just like this so when you go to the side that's one two you want to aim for 30 reps and then right after that this is going to work out the lower abs and the upper like the whole the whole six pack. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your knees in. Once you bring them in, you're gonna crunch. And then you're gonna bring your feet out. Don't let your feet touch. That's gonna be a challenge, but I know you guys can do it. Then you guys bring your knees in and crunch again. Knees out, bring them in, crunch. That's three reps. You wanna aim for 25 reps. Right after that, last one, planks. All you're gonna do is you're gonna place your forearms on the ground, the elbows directly under your shoulders, and just squeeze your core the entire time for as long as you could. Okay? When you guys do these workouts, this one you wanna do in a circuit. So you're gonna do the first one, straight to the second, straight to the third. When it comes to abs, you really don't need to take a long break. The, the shorter amount of rest you do during abs, the better it is. Beginner core exercises coming right up. Right here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your feet a little bit in front of your butt. You don't want them too close because the goal here is to slide to the side and touch your heels with your fingertips. So when you touch them over here, one, that's two, three, you're gonna aim for 30 reps and you're gonna feel the side of the stomach. There you go. Okay, now we got an exercise to target the entire core, the lower abs, the upper abs, everything. So. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna bring your knees in. Okay, don't let them, the feet touch the ground. Once you bring them in, you're gonna do a crunching movement, just like that. Feet never hit the ground though. It's gonna burn your entire core when you do this. Okay, now we got a planking movement. So here, you wanna make sure your elbows are right under your shoulders. You're gonna work out the entire core area with this. And you wanna do this for as long as you could. The goal is to do like 30 to 60 seconds at first. Once you can do that easily, then that's when you go for like two, three, four, five minutes or something like that. So before I end this video, you know, it's Saturday, Saturday night, um, before I call it a day and end the video, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, what it's going to take to really transform. You know, if you're, if you're someone that feels like you need to change in your life, you know, you got to just start, you know, something a lot of people do is they try to wait for their friend or someone to start with them. But you know, that's never the best route because that person might not feel the same way you do. You know, you, only you know how you truly feel about yourself. So the last thing you wanna do is wait for someone because that day might never come. Only because that person fe probably feels like they don't really need to change. So you know, just bet on yourself, just start, don't wait on anybody. You know, and once you do this, once you do start though, something I recommend you guys doing is fill yourself with positive energy, positive thoughts all the time. Because if you're constantly filling yourself with negative thoughts, this journey is gonna be something, a forever thing. Like you're never gonna get to your goal because you're always drained 
and you're not going to have the energy to do anything. That's why it's important that you guys surround yourself with positive people. You got to cut out all the negative things in your life. You know, negativity brings you down. It drains everything you have, you know, and you're, not, you're just not going to do anything with your life once you have so much negativity. So that's another step. Once you do that, you get hang of the um, workouts, you start working out, you make it a habit, you start feeling better about yourself. That's when you will know the next steps. You know, maybe not, now you need to take your eating more serious. But you know, you don't want to do everything all at once. You want to take baby steps. Again, if you have any friends that want to get in shape, I'm telling you, share these videos. Don't hide these secrets from them. You don't want to do that. And make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, share it. And you guys remember, pineapple belongs. I'm pizza.